Hey, this is Sasha. Thanks for joining me in today's video. And what I want to share with you today are the eight things that a lot of people waste money on. So stay tuned. All right, so if you're trying to save a little bit of more money in cash, uh, I deal with a lot of personal finance, I deal with a lot of investments uh, and those kinds of things. So anything money related is kind of what I'm centered around. And uh, there's a lot of things that I notice that people just constantly waste money on. And here I'm gonna share with you a, a couple of these things. Of course, there's many more things out there, but if you're getting caught in the trap and loop on any of these things, then you wanna be a little more careful if you're trying to save some money. So the first thing here is credit card interest. Credit card interest is a huge issue. Uh, for a lot of people, especially as you get into, you know, uh, 21%, 31%, 39% on your interest on your credit cards, it can be a huge problem. So uh, really buy what you can afford uh, because otherwise it can cost you in a big way. And it's one of the reasons that people stay broke because you're constantly trying to climb out of the debt problem. Okay, number two is going to be uh, deal sites. So if you're trying to purchase a deal, you think, hey, it's a good deal. Hey, this is coming up. It's a steal of a deal. Well, oftentimes those are there to lure you in so that way they could take your money. So impulse purchases, avoid them and stop wasting your own cash. And number three, uh, books. I love books. I've even written a lot of books. But if you're trying to save money, Keep in mind, there are libraries nearby. You could go check out some books, you know, even my books. Some of them are probably on cruise ships. Go ahead, grab yourself some books for free. Now, yes, there are some premium books that you do have to end up buying. Some of the new releases you may have to end up buying, but don't forget about your libraries. That's all I'm saying, okay? Other than that, you can get a lot of valuable information from books. It's actually one of the things that helped propel me forward through my education. Okay, number four, uh, upgraded shipping. A lot of people, hey, they gotta send this Christmas card tomorrow. And when you look at things like that and you're paying, you know, nine bucks, 20 bucks to ship something the next day, 50 bucks, it starts to add up. All that money uh, is expensive. So if you need to send something next day, I know sometimes it does happen. It's rare. Maybe you need to get your passport a lot quicker. So you got to pay a little extra here and there. Uh, but otherwise, most of the time, you're probably just wasting money for one or two extra days, you know, time is important but it's probably not that important if you're spending it a lot often just go a couple days earlier okay number five uh, as we get into this this is a daily coffee fix and i'm not just talking about coffee i'm talking about any habitual thing that you're kind of repeating that may not be as healthy for you, uh, like even smoking. So these habits can cost you a lot of money over the years. So be careful not to get into the trap. I'm not saying you can't enjoy coffee. I'm not saying you can't enjoy good things because money is there to improve your life, to enjoy life. But if you have a habit that's costly, that also is also damaging to your health, not saying coffee is, but maybe things like smoking, uh, then in that case, you know, it could create a, a big dent in your wallet. Okay, let's take a look at number six. Number six is designer baby clothes. You know, I've got kids, you might have kids. And if you're spending money on expensive clothes for them, uh, you know, hey, more power to you. But chances are you're doing it for your own benefit and not for theirs. Uh, you know, kids, they don't know brands until you teach them brands. We humans, we don't know brands until we are taught these things. It's kind of like the Coke and Pepsi model. When you close your eyes, try and figure out which one is better, right? So some people already think they know which one is better. They think they can tell the difference. Uh, but a lot of times, most people cannot. And studies have proven that. So when you do those blind tests, it really... Um, does show you that it's not that important. So your kids, they're gonna go through clothes very, very quickly. Uh, some of them will outgrow things and I've seen people where, hey, they don't even get a chance to wear those clothes because, hey, they just outgrow them so quickly. Maybe they've got winter clothes that are designer clothes and all of a sudden they just jump a size. It happens, so stop wasting your money. Okay, number seven is gym memberships. Most people have uh, that have a gym membership don't even attend or don't attend often enough to justify the cost. Remember the Rocky movies. You can have your gym in your backyard where the Rocky movies where uh, he goes out, you know, in the street and he trains or also in the one where he's in Russia, Siberia and training, uh, you know, in the country uh, land. So a lot of those uh, kind of movies where they're training out in the open field, you can do the same thing. You don't have to pay for a gym membership to go to the gym. Now, yes, sometimes it is convenient. You get the motivation, the social aspect behind it. But do you need it to work out? If you can avoid it, you're trying to save some money. And by all means, it's another one of those things that uh, you could put a little bit more money back into your pocket. And number eight uh, are knickknacks. 
I've seen some interesting things go for a lot of <laughs> money where they're uh, little knickknacks like little vases, little dolls, figurines, uh, pretty objects. Uh, most of the time they're probably collecting dust in your house. Uh, but some people love these things and hey, more power to you if you have one or two that you really love and treasure. But if you're trying to be a collector and you're collecting things, most of the time they're just kind of a waste of money. They sit there until eventually they collect dust. So uh, get rid of them or stop spending money on them. Anyways, I hope you found this helpful, gave you some things to think about and some insight. Uh, if you want to check out our website, go to mylittlenestegg.com. There's some great freebies there. You could download some getting started guides and much more. So uh, definitely check that out. And uh, don't forget to check out those freebies subscribe to the YouTube channel, or check out some other great videos. Thanks again, and I will see you next time.